What is going on my family? Your boy Demetrius is back and y'all already know I had to come right back at y'all with another classic Tekken 8 discussion here. Alright, what we got going on here is that the biggest news that is coming out of Bandai Namco when it comes to Tekken 8 and the whole thing about the Tekken 8 shop. Now there's a lot of other things going on as well. But when it comes to this Tekken 8 in-game shop, I think that's one of the main focuses that got a lot of people kind of interested in what's going on and a lot of people kind of nervous at the same time. And of course, you know, a lot of people wanted to know how I felt about the whole Tekken in-game shop that they are going to incorporate when it comes to Tekken 8 and the other things that are going on when it comes to Tekken 8. So y'all already know I was going to come on here and give a piece of my mind on the situation and how I feel about it. But I will say first, um, it's one of those situations where it could be potentially a great thing. It can potentially be something fun for people that are into it. But at the same time, it could be something kind of a letdown because we've already seen other fighting games as well as other video games do this type of stuff. You feel what I'm saying? And for the most part, it hasn't been successful because everybody knows about the whole Michael transaction and loot box stuff and all that, you know. So this is kind of similar to that. And the only thing that we can hope for is that Bandai Namco just doesn't go too super crazy with it. The idea, a lot of people are already getting the idea is that, you know, it's going to be a lot of paywalls. They're going to make us pay for a lot of shit when it comes to extra content or whatever. And a lot of people are questioning, does Tekken 8 really need this? Because if we really needed to purchase something when it comes to the game, we can just do it like we've been doing it. You feel what I'm saying? Go to the PlayStation store or whatever. You know, or stuff like that. But Bandai Namco seems to think there is a better idea in giving Tekken 8 an in-game shop. Now, what I want to say about this so-called in-game shop is that uh, I really can't just sit here and be like, okay, you know what, this shop is going to be this, this shop is going to be that. Because we really don't know what direction Bandai Namco is taking this. This is one of those situations where we're just going to have to see it with our own eyes and feel it out. And see what Bandai Namco got going on. Like I said, I hope it's not going to be some PUBG type shit where they make us pay for socks or some shit like that for a character. I hope it's not going to be that low down and dirty. But it's one of those situations we're just going to have to see. Like I said, it's an either or. It could be fun for most people and it could be kind of a letdown for others. You feel what I'm saying? Now, when it comes to me... I'm the type of motherfucker, I'm, I'm not going to be buying anything anyway. Sure, the only thing that I'm going to be buying is Eddie Gordo. And if they do story DLC, I'll purchase the story DLC. But that's about it. Whatever else that they got going on, whatever else that Bandai Namco have planned, I'm not going to buy. It. So another thing when it comes to this shop is that this is one of those type of things where the shop is really going to have to be cared for by the servers by bandai namco so you know it's probably going to be one of those things the shop is going to be updated regularly and consistently you feel what i'm saying and another thing too maybe the shop is going to acquire in-game currency kind of like they do with mortal kombat like i said you know some people like that shit some people hate it but I'm just one of those people, I don't fuck with it either way. So, you know, maybe they might have in-game currency or some stuff like that, you know, and then we could use the in-game currency money to buy or whatever, or, you know, how, how they do that shit in Mortal Kombat and all that. So, it may be something like that, to where we necessarily don't really have to directly pay for something, or, you know, they're probably going to make us buy some type of crystals or something <laughs> you feel what i'm saying they they probably gonna make us do some shit like that but like i said it's just one of those type of situations where it's like it's damn near like with grand theft auto and the, the whole shark card thing it's really up to you you know what i'm saying it's really up to you if y'all want to fuck with this type of shit but like i said i don't know if it's gonna be like grand theft auto i don't know if it's gonna be like mortal kombat we're just gonna have to wait and see what bandai namco got cooking you feel what i'm saying but it is one of those interesting type of things i'm interested to seeing what it is like i said i ain't gonna mess with it but i am interested to see what's going on with it when it comes to this tech and shop now the question is do we really need this tech and shop I'm going to say no. I don't think we really need a Tekken shop because like I said, you know, we wanted to really buy something. We just do it like we've been doing it. You feel what I'm saying? So, and like I said, 
to have a shop like this on a game as big as Tekken 8, it's going to have 24 hour around the clock care. So it's going to be updated like crazy. So like I said, it could be a fun thing for some. It could be a letdown for many or for a person like myself. I really don't care. I honestly don't care because I'm just not going to constantly just be purchasing things and buying things and stuff like that shoot i went through that shit with PUBG, boy the amount of money that i spent on PUBG, <laughs> i'll never do no shit like that again you feel what i'm saying like i said i'm only gonna spend or purchase on a couple of things when it comes to that tekken 8 shop that is if it gets incorporated the way that everyone thinks that it is yep but on side of the tekken shop there are some other upgrades that are coming along with the tekken shop and, you know, I just wanted to go over them real quick because uh, it could be something coming out of this. And we don't even really know it, although it's just speculation right now. Nothing is really carved in stone. Nothing has really came out and been said by Harada or nobody. But uh, there's a couple of things that I've been hearing and I'm going to share it in the video. But as you see right here, it just basically sees the future updates that are coming. Update content and shit like that. They're also saying it's going to be another server maintenance coming, so uh, I'm prepared this time. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers ain't going to fucking erase my damn content like that. <laughs> Shoot. So I'm prepared this time because we already know, you know, when they do server maintenance, we can't look at our replays. We can't do film study. We can't, you know, we can't save content or clips or nothing like that. So, you know, if y'all doing that type of shit, you know, just be prepared. Be prepared to save y'all shit or put y'all shit on some type of disc or something <laughs> because when this shit happens everything gonna be erased man so basically like i said it says the the tekken shot will be implemented like we just talked about and then it says the behavior properties of moves will be adjusted for some characters see this is the reason why i know uh our replays are going to be deleted once again because the characters' movements are going to be changed again. So when they do that, the replays are going to be invalid. So like I said, everybody, you know, uh, get your clips up and, you know, everybody save y'all clips on a disc and shit like that. Y'all feel what I'm saying? <laughs> Other functional improvements and bug fixes. Yeah, they need to fix a lot of bugs. There's a lot of bugs going on. I'm still experiencing the announcer saying that I lost, even though I've won, they still got that bug going on. They haven't even touched that bug. You feel what I'm saying? And another thing, too, I said this on Twitter. Um, I don't think anybody's actually noticed this, but when you go up against Lars and when Lars goes in heat, Lars makes the game lag when he goes in heat. And I noticed that. And I'm like, wow, because I've gone up against quite a few Lars players. And when Lars activate heats, the game fucking lags. And I hope they fucking take care of that shit because uh, that's ridiculous. No wonder why Lars gets off with that dumb shit all the fucking time. He literally makes the game lag. You know what I'm saying? But that is that is a big bug that they need to fix when Lars goes into heat. The game honestly does lag. I was like, damn, that's crazy. So when y'all come across a Lars player, just play close attention when he goes in heat. Now, it's not an atrocious lag or anything like that. It's not the type of lag that'll make you drop combos or anything like that. It's just, a, you know, it's like a razor sharp glitch that just shouldn't be there. You feel what I'm saying? Especially when Lars is attacking, you can really see it. When he's attacking in heat, you can really see the lag. But like I said, it's not atrocious or anything like that. But it's definitely a bug. And hopefully the development team can fix that shit. Hopefully somebody other than myself pointed that out to Harada. But we'll just have to see. Now there's a big rumor going on that this update that's going to come along with this tech and shop. Uh, it's been said that the rumor is, is that they're going to have a rank reset. And like I said, it's just a rumor. You know, Harada hasn't said anything. Bandai Namco hasn't said nothing. The Tekken team hasn't said nothing. But if this rumor is true, you know, I'm kind of split down the middle with it. I kind of want, I kind of do want the rank reset to happen. But then I'm thinking to myself, when Eddie Gordo come out, I'm going to have to reset anyway. Now, I understand if the rumor is true. I understand why they're doing it because, you know, all of the cheaters, all of the plugging and all that shit, all the racist shit that's going on 
and the boosting that's going on with Tekken 8 right now. So I kind of understand why they want to do a rank reset for that. I just hope if they do do a rank reset, they're better equipped and better prepared for it. Because when they did that shit in Tekken 7, that shit was crap. It was really crap in Tekken 7 because that whole rank bug that happened in Tekken 7, that was the real reason why I couldn't get Tekken God Omega because I kept getting sunk back to the blue ranks. That was some straight bullshit. And that was really why I quit playing Tekken for PC. I, I, I couldn't do it anymore. These stupid bugs and shit like that, the glitching, couldn't do it. So if they do do a rank reset, I just hope they're better planned for it. I hope Bandai Namco doesn't just do it. I hope they, you know... I hope they got everything fixed, and I hope they learned everything from Tekken 7. That is if the rumor is true. It's just a big rumor right now if they're going to do a rank reset. But like I said, it's kind of down the middle with me. Like, if they do it, I really don't care. But, you know, it does make sense if the rumor is true that they'll do a rank reset, you know, to clean up all the bullshit that's going on. There's some other bugs, you know, they need to fix too. I don't think they're going to do any character nerfings or buffs this time around. I think they're just going to stick to fixing the bugs within the game. Details will be announced on the official website at a later date. So uh, the way that they talking is probably going to be within the next week or so that I'm assuming. And then it says at the end here, it says, please note that the ESRB rating has been updated with the following interactive element in-game purchases okay so we just don't know really yet you know basically we just got to take it it is what it is until we actually see it until we actually get a feel for it but what it's seeming like it's seeming like it's going to be a lot of paywall shit going on you know i wouldn't be surprised and you know what somebody asked me a while back if they were to put the angel gen costume into Tekken 8, would they make us purchase it? And the answer is hell yeah. Angel gen, you best believe they're going to make you purchase the angel gen suit. Same thing with the devil Kazuya Azazel costume. They're going to make you purchase that. You feel what I'm saying? So if they have those two costumes in that shop, you best believe you're going to purchase that. And there's not probably not going to be no other way that you can get those type of costumes. You feel what I'm saying? And then, you know, like I said, the upside of it is just to see what they're going to do with when it comes to certain skins and shit like that. You know, maybe they might bring back martial laws, enter the dragon suit. You feel what I'm saying? Even though forest law wore the suit. But, you know, since it's martial law in there, they may give it back to martial law. You feel what I'm saying? So it's a lot of things that they can do. But like I said, when it comes to these purchases and shit, it's all up to you. It's all up to you if you want to spend that type of money. You feel what I'm saying? Because like I said, I went through this shit with PUBG. So I ain't going to do this shit here when it comes to Tekken or no other game. I'm just not going to do all of that. It's just really unnecessary. But that's just me. You know, that's just how I feel about it when it comes to this whole in-game purchase situation. Like I said, it's so many other players out there that love the game so much and love playing the game so much that they're willing to spend that amount of money, you know, I guess to keep things fresh. Or to keep things glamorous when it comes to the game. And like I said, that's cool. You know, it's all up to you. You feel what I'm saying? So uh, let me know what y'all think in the comments section below about the whole Tekken shop, the in-game shop, in-game purchases. What do y'all feel about the updates that are about to happen? Hopefully they'll fix the bugs. Just let me know what y'all think. Put y'all thoughts and y'all feelings in the comments section below. Don't hold nothing back. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to your boy for the hottest Tekken 8 action on the internet, period. I will get back at you in the next video. My name is Demetrius. God bless. Stay safe. Get ready for the next battle. I am out. Peace.